Mystery box of Halloween fidget toys is back. Yes. <laughs> yes, you heard. We have more Halloween fidget toys mystery box to go through. As you can see here, this one is specifically from Fidget Toy Plus, the viral fidget toy shop by Mrs. Bench, who even had her own billboard in New York City. Oh my goodness, so proud of you. And as someone with ADHD, having things to fidget with is absolutely necessary because if it isn't a thing, it's my hands. I gotta do something. And recently, Mrs. Bench opened a physical shop and she's been super generous by sending me some things to review despite the fact that these are sent to me. 100% everything is my opinion. So whether I rate it on a scale of 1 to 10, low or high, these are my personal opinions and how I fidget with things. If you do want to find out more, I will link it down below. But in the meantime, let me know what is your favorite kind of fidget things. I personally love fidget cubes and monkey noodles. And you know what? Let's ask Kitty Editor. Kitty Editor, what is your favorite thing to fidget with? That's actually a very good choice. The box itself is pretty sizable, so I'm really excited to see which Halloween themed items we're going to be getting today. But I also know that Mrs. Bench made a video shopping for me for these items. So I didn't watch it because I do not like spoilers. I love surprises. But I did go ahead and open the box so that it's easier for me to just put my hand in there and pull something out. So I'm just gonna move that over to that side. And so let's go ahead and see what we... See inside. And okay, there's a baggie and it is... Oh, I love these. We have some OMG pop rockers. And it looks like we can get all these different characters ranging from a Dracula cat, a black cat, a ghost, a witch, a pumpkin, and a Franken bear. Wait, which one did we get? Purple. Oh, it's the witch. I didn't see it. Hadn't seen the hat. Now this one can be a hit or miss depending on the actual mold, but as you can see here, we have a tiny witch hat and it even comes with a little bit of a highlight. And this is not drawn on. These are actual pieces of silicone, which makes this a good quality, but the good quality will come from the actual popping. Let's push those in. Very nice. Let's hear that pop back up. Very nice. And we do have suction cups. So if you like to fidget more obnoxiously, there's a little squeak at the beginning. You hear that squeak? It's like sneakers. And then all of this in the back, I'm gonna try and see if we can get as many of these pushed in as possible. We have to be very delicate, very, oh goodness. You cannot put any pressure whatsoever because if there's any air, oh goodness. Oh gosh, I'm gonna hold from the suctions. No, we're so close. We're so close. Almost there. Almost. No, no, no. Just one left. Two, two, two. One more, one more. No, no. Come on. No, no. Last one. No, come on. Just one last one. One. We did it. That did take quite a bit, but let's go ahead and enjoy this part. So yeah, this is a good one. Doesn't have too many air leaking. I like these, so I'm going to go ahead and rate it an 8.5. Next one, oh my goodness, what is that? What is that? What is this? This is a huge jack-o'-lantern. What is it? Is there something inside? Oh, oh! Okay, this is its own mystery box. We're gonna open this later. My goodness, that is adorable. That is adorable. Okay, we're gonna get to this at the end because that is just, just way too cute for its own good. Next we have, oh, hello. What is that? What is you? And this is, oh, it's a bead type squishy with Orbeez on the inside. I love the feel of this. It's so crunchy. That feels really good. And the plushie itself is a cute little Franken bear and everything seems to be embroidered on top. So that is pretty good quality. We have the hands holding on to the jack-o'-lantern. 
It's called Beady Buddies Halloween Edition. Oh, look at that. We can get a pumpkin, a cat, a bat, a mummy. Oh, that's adorable. I love this one. And there are some candies sticking out. Here we have peppermint, and here we have something grape, I'm guessing. Yeah, everything is pretty good quality on this one. Let's hear that again. Super crunchy, yeah. I like this. I like this a lot. I'm going to give it a 7.2. Next, oh, this is something else that is soft and you are, oh no, <laughs> a werewolf. What are you though? Oh, oh, these are similar to the previous ones that I actually reviewed in another video. There's kind of like soft beads on the inside. It's hard to tell, but it has a really nice feel to it because the plushie itself is really soft. And again, these are printed. The other ones are embroidered, but this is printed, but it's definitely part of the design, so it will not scratch off, which is good. And we have a werewolf in plaid type clothing. Very cute. And the inside really is calming because the tiny beads in there are definitely in a liquid. So they move around here. Let me see if I can push one out. There you go. So this is the size of the beads and they move around really, really well. You don't have to put any kind of pressure. It doesn't hurt your joints. Very cute. I will give this, I would say a seven on 10, but it, it is pretty adorable. What is that? We have a ball. What are you? Ah, an eyeball. So this one is called a gurgling guts. Squeeze me by Dr. I am Gory. <laughs> okay, I like the details on that packaging. And in the back we have eye and brain. Let's see what it looks like. I'm gonna tear right into that. My goodness. This definitely has eyeball type look to it. Oh wow, look at the back. Oh, that's a liquid. Okay, can I squeeze it? Okay, let's... That is gross. Oh, okay, so it spews out the liquid on the inside and out, kind of like a straw. Oh, gross. That is really gross. The sound is entertaining. Cause it's obnoxious. <laughs> but as a fidget item for me, I do like it aesthetically and the sound, but it takes a lot of effort to squeeze. So I'm going to put this at around a five on 10. I do like the sound a lot though. I don't know why. Oh no, we made the whole thing red. And then, oh wait, hang on. I do feel something else exactly the same. Okay, still the same packaging. It says gurgling guts. And I think this is the brain. Let's tear right through it. I'm savage. And I think this is in fact the brain. Let's see. Yeah, same concept. <laughs> I am Matua, I promise. Same thing as the eyeball. I do like the sound, but the amount of squeezing it takes, I don't see myself coming back to it to fidget. So I'm going to give it the same rating of five on 10. Next, oh, that is heavy. That is heavy. What is that? No, a Dracula kitty cat. Oh, I know what these are. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. This is called two flippin' cute water wrigglers. They're basically the toy that you could do the, kind of falls in between your fingers kind of thing. Some of you grains got your minds in the gutter when I reviewed one in a previous fidget toy unboxing video. And I have to say you're naughty, naughty, naughty. Cause I'm like, oh, you can put your finger in there. And then y'all made some funny faces. Just saying, you know who you are. So as you can see, this goes reversible. So you can see a different character pop out here. So we did have a vampire cat. Actually, let's remove this. Snip. All right, so let's go ahead and flip it into itself. Ah! And it re-flipped re back out. Hang on, let's try that again. We want the doggy. Come on, doggy. There, we have a mummy dog on the other side. This is actually really inter- No, I wanna go the other side. <laughs> okay, well, it has its mind of its own, but basically, this is a very mindless fidget toy. You just kind of have to hold it and let it do its thing. Kind of just enjoy the ride of it popping in and out like this. It is very quiet. It does seem to want to default to the cat though, but it is a very quiet fidget toy. So it's nothing obnoxious. You could probably bring it with you to the office or to the classroom, but it is really mindless, really soft. I do quite enjoy it. I'm going to give this a solid, gosh, it is adorable though. 
Solid 7.8. Look at it. It really does want to go back to the cat. I mean, I'm not complaining. I'm a cat person. And then slide back into kitty cat mode. Woo! Yeah, that's, that's the whole point of this. <laughs> And then another thing in a bag, and this is a Puppet candy corn. Wait, is it scented? I swear, some of these companies really need to up their level here by making things more scented. So let's find out, because if it's not scented, I'll be a little disappointed. Not scented. And candy corn basically tastes like colorant and sugar. There's not much sound for the way in. Let's hear that pop out. Very minimal. And the reason it's a little minimal is because the silicone on the inside here is really thin. So the popping is not as deep, but it's really easy to push in. Yeah, really easy to push in. I would have to say for a pop it, usually they don't get really high scores for me, but they do get a base of seven, unless they're extra special. And then, oh, I think these are extras. Hang on, let's keep looking for Halloween stuff. Here, oh, we have another pop rockers, and this one is the black kitty cat. Let's see if we can get them in. See, the pop on this one on the way in is much thicker. So it feels much better. Let's hear that pop back out the squeeze. Feels really good. I'm pretty sure Kitty Editor is enjoying this. Well, let's see if we can get all of these in here. Listen to that. It feels good. A few minutes later. Actually, that was pretty straightforward and pretty easy to get all of them in. Oh. <laughs> Why you gotta turn me into a liar? It's turning me into a liar. It really was actually easy. Now it's gonna be a struggle, isn't it? No, 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 that is not what we did. Okay, let's let's just agree that this is in. <laughs> let's go. Nice. So this is a good one. There's no air leaks and it does hold the air pressure pretty good. So I'm going to give it the same rating as the first one. And similarly, this is not printed on. These are actual pieces of the plastic, the vinyl, the silicon. <laughs> That's the word I was looking for. So these two do be cute. And then, Ooh, what? Candy? Is that actual candy? It is, it's Jelly Belly Pet Trash. I just got goosebumps. I, I legitimately just got goosebumps. I actually had to eat a tarantula in a previous video I did with a friend of mine over on his channel. So if you want to watch that video, it is with my friend Junk Food Japan. Here's a little preview of um, the kind of shenanigans we went through. Itadakimasu! Itadakimasu! We're gonna challenge you to eat one of these guys. No! I'm so nervous right now. I think I'm sweating. Beautiful tarantula. No! <laughs> this is my biggest fear. Oh, check it out. Please don't oh. let it touch me though, please. Oh. Let's do it! <laughs> Three, okay. two, one, two! But I'm pretty sure this is going to be nowhere near as gross as this one. All right, so let's check out how this smells. Because this is Jelly Belly, which means it should be absolutely phenomenal tasting. Here's what it looks like. I am actually pretty afraid of spiders. Smells like cherry. I don't usually do cherry flavored things. I do like cherries, but not cherry flavored. So let's pull the legs out and try this. Mmm, that's actually pretty good. That is actually pretty good. It just tastes like dark cherry, kind of like the soda. Another thing in the bag, and it is, it's a hand. Oh, and I know these. I think we got a whole baggie of these in the previous year. It's basically a mochi. So it is a mochi fidget toy. That basically just, <laughs> these fingers really look like someone closed the door on them. Oh goodness. But yeah, it's squishy, nothing special, just a mochi. I wouldn't keep a mochi just because they do accumulate dust and dirt very quickly. So for me, mochis cover probably around the four on den for me. And then we have another poppet. And this one is a ghost. So here we have a cute ghost shape. I really wish this had a kind of face or design or at least an emboss or something, but let's go ahead and hear that pop in. Same thing. Not too bad, it has a bit of a crunch to it, which I do like. Let's hear the way out. Not bad. The silicon still is pretty light, but it's easier to hold it from up and down to get a nicer sound. 
has a nice crunch. But because this is still a poppet, I will give it a 7 on 10. And then we have some monkey noodles. Okay, like, oh my goodness. For those of you who don't know monkey noodles, they're probably one of my favorite things because they're quiet, they're portable, they have texture on them, some of them do, and you can make knots into them and remove them pretty easily. This one here is a jack-o'-lantern. Next one, oh, that's adorable. We have a cute bat in green. What? In a spooter. I didn't expect no spooter. Wait, was this jack-o'-lantern double? No, it's two jack-o'-lanterns. Okay. Next here we have a witch scarecrow, I guess. What's the other side of this one? Oh, the legs. Oh, it's like, um, I get it. So it's like, like the feet and the body and it's like Ooh, we're gonna haunt you oh no oh no i'm very stretchy ah. <laughs> okay yeah and and yeah you could you could also just do this you could do whatever you want with these it's just fun yeah i could i could spend hours fidgeting with these just because it has a good hand feel to it and you could just Twirl it all you want. This, this is me. This is my preference. I love these. We do have another one here. This one is a skeleton in yellow. And the rest at the bottom is its body. So again, same thing. It's like, oh no. And I'm so wiggly. Oh my goodness. I'm just flying everywhere. <laughs> but all of these together are pretty cute. Monkey noodles for me always rank pretty high. Again, texture, feel, quietness, portability. I'm going to give this a solid 8.5. These are just phenomenal. And then... Jack-o'-lantern! The one that's stuffed to the brim. My goodness. What do we have? More monkey noodles? Get out of here! Funny enough, my dad's favorite fidget toys are monkey noodles and he just asked me a few days ago, it's like, hey, do you have any more of these? And I'm like, I do, and now I have even more. So I know my dad watches all my videos. Dad, I have, I have more for you. <laughs> all right, so let's go one item at a time. Let's take these out. Voila. And these ones are the smooth type of monkey noodle. Oh, are these glow in the dark bracelet types? I think these are glow in the dark bracelets. Okay, we're gonna turn the lights off after this bit over here and see if they are glow in the dark. Cause I think these might actually be bracelets for going out at night. Maybe I'm wrong though. But we do have a skeleton, jack-o'-lantern and a witch. And of course you can have them as a bracelet like a saw. And because they're stretchy, you can just put them on like this. They're not necessarily the most comfortable if you have large arms like I do, but you can fidget with them when they're closed off too. So that works as well. All right, so lights are off. And the answer for the monkey noodles is no, they are not glow in the dark. Interesting. That would actually been a great thing to have as glow in the dark because you would actually wear them at night. Next item. Oh. No way! Oh my goodness, hang on! Okay, hang on, we have, this is different. Let's pour everything out. Oh my goodness, okay, hang on. I thought they were all going to be the same, but they're not. Okay, I'm gonna put everything back. Here we have Frankenstein's monster. Oh, look at that. You know what, I kinda wanna keep these in their packaging just because I do wanna give them out for Halloween. But I do have a resealer, so I'm gonna reseal them. So let's see what we have. Here we have a Frankenstein's monster again. Oh. This is way easier to push in. Usually this type of fidget toy makes it so that the actual plastic here is really hard to push in. But this one's not. It's like he's chewing bubblegum. <laughs> Why is this entertaining? This is cute. Again, not the kind that I would normally fidget with. The sound but I'm going to give it a solid five on 10. It is good quality, easy to squeeze, just not my type. Next we have, oh, excuse me. We have a skeleton. Oh, there's something in there. Ooh, 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 that is gross. What is, oh, gross. Oh, gross. Ew, ew, but visually interesting. <laughs> we have worms in there. Gross, and you can also squeeze it from the bottom. So we have some worms on the inside of the skeleton. I love this color. It's very nice orange, creeping into red, but not quite. So you can squeeze it from the bottom, you can squeeze it from one eye, squeeze it from the other. It's quiet, it's visually interesting. It's Halloween themed, but it is visually interesting nonetheless. It's, you, you clicked on Halloween, what did you expect? I actually like this. As gross as it is, 
I'm going to give this a 7.5 because it's soft, it's very minimal effort. Next over here, I can't tell what this is. Oh, I see. It is, drum roll please, a snack. We have a little snack here. We have a little bit of holes all the way around and at the bottom. So I'm going to guess that we squeeze Orbeez. My goodness. Okay, so we have like snake eggs, I'm guessing. So you can, this is really soft. The whole thing is really soft. I'm not too crazy about this design. I'm not sure why. I do like that they come out of different places. But it almost feels like the colorful Orbeez are not matching the snake. And the snake could use a better head. But I do like this concept, just not necessarily the colors that match with it for Halloween theme. Yeah, and I feel like this might break at some point. The material here is kind of thin. So I'm going to put it at cautiously and generously, probably around a four on 10. Just because I am worried, I'm not crazy about the design. It does what it's supposed to do, it feels good. But overall as a theme, not for me. And then this thing, I don't even know, I don't even know. <laughs> And it looks to be a skeleton. Oh, oh my goodness. It's kind of, what are they called again? Snake, bendy snakes, flexi snakes. I don't know, but this is pretty cool because it's a skeleton and it's posable and it comes in different colors on top and bottom. Oh, I think this might be glow in the dark. I'm going to have to try that. Let's check if it is glow in the dark. But first, you can actually pose this, which makes it its own kind of fidget thing because of the posing and not just moving. Sounds good too. It does sound like skeletons. The posing gives it an extra element of fidgeting because now you have a kind of purpose to fidget. It's not necessarily portable. Can you remove it? No, no. So it's not portable, but it is entertaining nonetheless. For sure, I like this. It's kind of bulky over here. Not sure if we can do anything with it. I would have loved to see a little bit more of a fidget element in the body itself. I think it would have made this figurine a little bit more interesting and complete. So maybe the ribs would flip or they could flicker or something like that. So I'm going to give this a base of seven on 10. And let's check out our skeleton dude. Lights off. And oh my goodness, yes. It is indeed glow in the dark, which means you can fidget at night and still have quite a bit of fun with it. I like that. This gets extra points. And then we have more fidget mochis, which are absolutely phenomenal for those of you looking, instead of giving out treats, you can give out some fidget toys. These are cute to add into your bucket, or you can give them in addition to toys and treats, whatever you want. But these are mochis. Again, nothing different for me. But we do have this squeeze ball, but I have a feeling it's not just going to be a squeeze ball. Let's see what's up with this. I feel like something, I always feel like Mrs. Bench has something up her sleeves. All right, so it looks like it's Orbeez. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe there's nothing in here. Let's squeeze. Oh, 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 there you go. <laughs> we have a little ghost character hanging out in there. So you can basically just squeeze around until you catch it. Where's the ghost character? There it is, caught it again. But again, for most of these squeezing things, for me, it's not it. I'm not going to reach out to look for these. So I'm going to give it again a five on 10. But the material on this one is thicker. Here are all the Halloween themed fidget toys that we got this year. Let me know which one is your favorite. I'm going to have to say the one that moves the kitty cat and the mummy dog one that keeps slippy sliding. But I'm curious to know which one is your favorite. Let me know in the comment section below if you want to watch more Halloween themed items like a craft from Miniverse. Make sure you check up here. If you want to catch something a little different, make sure you click down here. Until then, I will see you grains in the next video.